After requiring more than 75 conditions, the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, approved a final environmental assessment of the proposed SpaceX Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket program in Boca Chica, Texas on Monday. Want to know more? Hey everyone, welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we bring you the most recent news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. And let's begin! The FAA published a finding of no significant impact, but is imposing some restrictions on launches and requiring steps to reduce environmental impacts, clearing a roadblock for the program. One step closer to the first orbital flight test of Starship, SpaceX tweeted shortly after the decision. According to the FAA, completing the environmental review does not guarantee the issuance of a vehicle operator license, which is contingent on meeting FAA requirements for safety, risk, and financial responsibility. The FAA stated that as a result of the requirements, launches will be given more advance notice in order to avoid highway closures during launch operations. Launches will be prohibited on 18 specific holidays and will be limited to no more than five weekends per year. The FAA is requiring ongoing vegetation and wildlife monitoring, as well as advanced notification to surrounding communities about potential engine noise and sonic booms from launches and adjusting launch complex lighting to minimize wildlife impact. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, stated in February that he was highly confident that his new SpaceX Starship, designed for Moon and Mars missions, would reach Earth orbit for the first time this year. Even in the worst-case scenario, Musk said SpaceX has a backup plan in case a full environmental impact statement is required or legal wrangling over the issue drags on. Musk stated that the company would relocate its entire Starship program to the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, where SpaceX has received the necessary environmental approval. According to a news source, NASA wants SpaceX to ensure that its plan to launch its next-generation Starship rocket from Florida will not jeopardize nearby launch infrastructure critical to the International Space Station. The rocket's next major test, a complex task of launching to orbit for the first time, had been delayed in part by a regulatory review of the Texas compound's environmental impact, which has prevented the FAA from granting SpaceX an orbital launch license. Among the requirements are that SpaceX work with a qualified biologist on lighting inspections to minimize the impact on sea turtles, run an employee shuttle between Brownsville and the facility, and perform quarterly cleanups of the local Boca Chica Beach. The company will also help with local education and preservation efforts, such as writing a historical context report on the events of the Mexican War and Civil War that occurred in the area, as well as replicating and installing missing ornaments on a local historical marker. In addition, the company will make an annual $5,000 contributions to organizations that protect ocelots and endangered birds of prey, as well as a state recreational fishing program. According to the FAA, SpaceX has already made changes to its Starbase facility expansion, including the removal of infrastructure plans for a desalination plant, natural gas pretreatment system, liquefier, and power plant. The company is working on a nearly 400-foot-tall reusable Starship rocket with the goal of transporting cargo and groups of people beyond Earth's atmosphere. Starship is made up of a massive first-stage booster called Super Heavy and a 165-foot-tall upper-stage spacecraft called Starship. Elon Musk, the founder and CEO of SpaceX, has stated that both of these elements will be fully and rapidly reusable. SpaceX's Raptor engine family powers the rocket and its Super Heavy booster. Starship is envisioned by SpaceX as a potentially revolutionary transportation system that will make Mars colonization and other exploration feats economically feasible. NASA sees potential in the vehicle and has selected it as the first crewed lunar lander for the Artemis Moon program. The FAA began reviewing the program in November 2020 after the company began constructing infrastructure and operations on the Gulf of Mexico's coast near Brownsville, Texas. The agency postponed its final assessment five times in the last six months as it reviewed program feedback. Its decision on Monday to issue a mitigated finding of no significant impact is still a partial victory for SpaceX as it saves the company from a more extensive review of its operations known as an environmental impact statement. 
On Monday, the FAA issued two key documents, a summary of the environmental assessments and a detailed list of the actions the company must take. As part of the FAA's investigation, a report issued earlier this year by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service revealed a link between SpaceX activity in the area and recent declines in the local population of the piping plover, an endangered bird species. However, the FWS suggested that SpaceX make only minimal spending or conservation commitments. SpaceX has completed several high-altitude flight tests with Starship prototypes, but the company has yet to reach space due to development and regulatory delays. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, gave a presentation on Starship in February at the company's Starbase facility in Texas, outlining the path forward and obstacles for the rocket's testing. The FAA released 17,000 comments last month, some of which expressed concern about the SpaceX project's impact on endangered species and the nearby Lower Rio Grande Valley National Wildlife Refuge. The company has applied for permits to develop an additional 17.6 acres of wetlands adjacent to its existing Starbase facility. The total affected area is likely to be much larger. According to David Newstead, director of the Coastal Bend Bays and Estuaries Programs, Coastal Bird Program in South Texas, Boca Chica is one of the most important shorebird sites along the entire Gulf Coast. It is also an important stop on the Central Flyway, which connects migratory birds between North and South America. Repeated explosions at the testing site have spread debris into the surrounding wildlife refuge and state park habitat, Newstead says, and the SpaceX properties are right next to occupied, heavily used shorebird habitat. The CBBEP's monitoring efforts show that piping plovers, a federally threatened shorebird species, have declined from an estimated population of 327 in 2018 to 214 in 2020 in Boca Chica. However, the population increased slightly to 276 in 2021. According to Newstead, these changes correspond to the start and stop of launch testing at the site. In 2018, SpaceX began manufacturing and testing its Starship rocket systems in the United States. There was a small increase in the birds this past winter, Newstead adds. Notably, there will be no more launch testing from August 2021 to April 2022. The CBBEP also monitors nesting snowy plovers and Wilson's plovers at Boca Chica in addition to piping plover populations. According to Newstead, these birds have mostly vanished from the area and appear to avoid nesting in areas near the launch site. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has also determined that continuing SpaceX operations in Boca Chica will have an impact on animals protected under the Endangered Species Act. Red knot shorebirds, jaguar rundi, and ocelot wildcats are among the most endangered. The Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, which nests on the beaches of Boca Chica and is the world's most critically endangered sea turtle, is also in danger. Explosions and tests at the SpaceX launch site could endanger wildlife populations by causing direct injury or death. The US FWS and other organizations have also stated that the heat, pressure, and debris from launch testing could harm or drive species away from critical habitat. However, the FAA will ultimately make the decision on SpaceX's environmental impact. Although regulatory agencies frequently postpone decisions, according to Newstead, the number of FAA postponements surrounding the SpaceX project stands out. I would assume that the length of the delays reflects the number of roadblocks the agency is encountering in authorizing this type of activity, he says. If it had been benign, SpaceX would have had their permit long ago. And that's it for today's video. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos.